Hey everybody, it is Jim. This is April what, 27th, 2010, and uh, thanks for joining me. I just wanted to share with you kind of my, my thoughts. Uh, I haven't done uh, one of these vlogs in a little while uh, because I've been traveling. In fact, not only myself, but some of my associates have been traveling extensively, both in terms of client visits and presentations and kind of annual reviews, but also uh, we've attended conventions like the... Um, American Moving and Storage Associations Conference in Phoenix. We, we went to the Unigroup uh, Sales Conference in St. Louis, the uh, California Moving and Storage Convention. Um, we're coming up here in a week or so. We're going to the ERC down in Orlando. And we've just been all over the map visiting clients and, and um, kind of getting, getting a feel for what, uh, what the industry holds this this summer and I gotta tell you uh, a lot of our service crews have my cell number and that's good and it's bad I gotta tell you I get a lot of of them calling and just saying hey it's a little slow what's going on Jim what are you hearing and after having a few months on the road visiting clients attending these shows talking to our salespeople that are um, that are doing all these visits I'm kind of inspired um, there were uh, a lot of people that were saying, hey, my business is up. We're up here today. We had a really good March. April looks pretty darn good. Our bookings for June and July are stacking up pretty pretty strongly. Um, I was at uh, a server last week and they were making some hiring authorizations. Um, I, overall, I feel like the industry might be coming out of it a little bit. Um, certainly, there are still a lot of challenges. Uh, pricing pressure is a huge problem. There's still kind of a lot of capacity and uh, a lot of suppliers. So I think, you know, likely in the years to come, there's going to continue to be some weeding out, kind of thinning of the herd, if you were, if you will. Um, some of the good things, first time, uh, this, this first time home buyer credit, this $8,000 credit that we're all aware of, I think that's kind of helped with the COD market, well, that's set to expire. I think it's end of May. And I suspect that that's going to hurt the industry a little bit. I think they've gotten, from a COD perspective, they've gotten a little bump because of that program, and that might go away. Uh, interest rates remain really low, and they, uh, you know, uh, in listening, um, uh, listening to the forecast, they're expected to remain low. So that's a good thing for our industry. Banks, those knuckleheads, are finally kind of getting their act together and, and they're forgiving some of this debt for these people that are really underwater on their mortgages and they're, uh, and they're trying to work with them to refinance these mortgages to keep them in the houses. Uh, that's a good thing. Um, so overall, my guess, you know, I'm not really a prognosticator, but I'm guessing both for national account and COD, that we might be up, up uh, eight to ten percent this year. So uh, it's a good thing we're not going to be back to kind of 07 numbers. But I think this industry is kind of on the right track. I, I, I've heard a lot of really great leadership, both um, from all the major van lines. Um, there's been um, some great initiatives and programs introduced, and I think it's really going to help the consumer and help our industry. So thanks for listening. Everybody have a great day. Thanks.